All right, we've got the only white things that we own. We do. We're wearing them. Yes. Do you have your racket? I got my pimp scope. A battle. So why did you make me bust out my only white t-shirt? Because it's my favorite fortnight of the year. Oh, 4th of July and fireworks. Fortnight. Oh, fortnight. Yes, two week long period of time. Okay. And what does this represent? Wimbledon. Oh, oh, that's right. I did marry a tennis player. Yeah, in college. In high school. In high school. And we play sporadically during the summer, which is fun. We sporadically. Play. <laughs> we could use the term play loosely. <laughs> what is up with Pims? Pims number one is probably, I think, in the Midwest, maybe in least Iowa. You see this bottle, you never see a cocktail with it. Right, it's because it the bar got a bottle because they had Pim's Cup for a special <laughs> and then they never used it again. Because right. Because nobody, I, I mean, nobody really, here really knows what it is. Right, do you know what it, this is about? I know it's a super secret. The recipe is a super secret. Those damn Europeans and their secret recipes. But it is a gin-based liqueur okay. that has spices, and it's meant to be a digestive. Okay. Or digestive, however you say that. Yeah. Okay. And it's made in Great Britain, so it makes sense that yes. it's... Oh, made in oh, London. Yeah, it makes sense why it's Wimbledon's drink of choice. You know, kind of like the Kentucky yeah. Derby has their mint jewel up uh -huh. and stuff like that. So <laughs> I've never had one of these. Neither have I, and I feel like a terrible tennis fan. <laughs> right. But it does have the most garnishes at a cocktail that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty all-inclusive here, isn't it? And it's also, there was many different recipes, too. Yes. One was with lemonade. Yes, uh, specifically English lemonade, which to, to us is more of like a combination of like Sprite mm -hmm. and lemonade. Lemonade, yeah. But the recipe you found used... Ginger ale. Right. And we are doing kind of a tasting room with these two. Mine has ginger beer, yours has ginger ale. We just kind of wanted to see if there was a difference. Right. So. And I think the ginger might be a good addition based on the mm -hmm. the profile of Pims. Not that I've ever had Pims by itself. Right. Yeah. All right, let's give this a try. Dink. You touch straw tips. Ah. That's interesting. I like that. I'm not a huge cucumber fan, but you can taste the cucumber mm -hmm. just mildly in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives it a nice, more refreshness. Our mint is kind of weak. Yes. Store bought. But it kind of tastes like salad dressing, like a vinaigrette, mm -hmm. but in a good way. In a good way. Let me try. See if there's a difference. Not really. Not really. Yours might be a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher. Yeah, I would probably put not two cucumber slices in mine next time, just one. I think the cucumber is a little too much. Again, that's personal style for I sure. I love cucumbers. So, but after all, I mean, this is an easy, super easy drink. Three yeah. ingredients at the end yeah. of the day. Essentially, mm -hmm. it's a it's a doctored up gin and tonic. Right. Because exactly. I do remember reading that there is quinine in mm. Pims, which is what is used to make tonic water. Right. Exactly. But yeah, I think everyone should try this. It's great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It is is a good drink, solid, refreshing. It's, a ni it's nice and refreshing and light, and it'd be very good to drink on a hot day like today. Or at Wimbledon. Or at Wimbledon. Which you read, a, you read an interesting fact that basically it was only Pimm's Cups and gin and tonics that were basically served at Wimbledon. In their as far menu. as their cocktails. Cocktails. Yeah. Awesome. Well, if you want to check out last week, we had an adventure with three different friends between two videos and we crossed two time zones. Yep. You can go check out those two videos right over here. Or actually, we're going to put them down here from now. So down here, we're going to put them. And besides that, stay tuned for the rest of the week. We're going to do more cocktails with Pim's number one. Yep. Cheers, Cheers. tennis pro. Not a pro. <laughs>